Hi, it's Lorraine again, and we're ready to do our third project, which is the stocking. Isn't that cute? So here's our stocking. Um, this is a die cut stocking with uh, a lolly embellishment. And for this stocking, you're going to need uh, two pieces of Frostwood Designer Series paper. You pick the pattern. I've chosen um, a plaid and uh, for this next stocking. And you'll need two pieces of it that are at least uh, four by five and a half. You'll need two pieces of <clears throat> Cherry cobbler that are again the same measurements. You'll need a scrap of garden green and you'll need a piece of cherry cobbler that's one inch by 11 inches. No, this isn't one inch. Sorry about that. Scrap, scrap. It is three quarter inches by 11. And then you'll need a piece of Whisper White that's 11 inches, uh, two, 2 inches by 11 inches. Okay. You'll need a 3 inch piece of Vanilla Velvet Ribbon. And you'll also need one adhesive pearl, half pearl. Okay. Um, with the plaid DSP, you're going to cut that into a stocking using the um, holiday stocking. Let's see if we can get this a little better. Anyway, I don't know if you can see the die or not. They don't always come through clear. But uh, it's the stocking and the heel and toe and the cuff, and that die. And then you're also going to need the Accompanying die, that's the stocking accessories. I always go the wrong direction. There we go. And uh, this has a candy cane and a couple of ornaments and a tree and a circle for the holly berries and a, and a holly leaf. Okay. Then um, you're going to use the stocking die to cut you're going to just cut a stocking out of the plaid then you're going to cut the cuff and the uh, heel and toe out of the cherry cobbler <clears throat> a tip also when you're going to put your pieces together for the stocking because you want it to have a front and a back you decide on the pattern that you're going to keep and then put the set the pattern that you're not going to use to the inside before you cut it so then you'll have a front and a back otherwise it's not going to come out for you okay and then you're going to add texture to the the um, cuffs and the toes and the heels. And you're going to do that using the Petals of Plenty embossing folder. And you should be able to get all the pieces in there at once. The cuffs are pretty straightforward, um, but you're going to have to think opposites when it comes to the toes so you're going to put if you've got one going that way then you may make you have to make sure that the other one goes the other way so you'll lay them out like that and then you should be able to get the heels on here too they're less dependent on direction but the toes it's very critical that you get them in opposites and you should be able to run that through your big shot and emboss them all at the same time. Um, you're going to use sticky strip to adhere the um, 
stocking together so you can actually put things inside of it. It's not going to hold a great deal, but it will it will hold sturdily if you put that to put it together with sticky strip. And then you can use snail to add on your cuffs and your heels and your toes. And you do that to both sides. Okay. Then we can work on the embellishment for the stocking. Our lolly here. Okay, uh, it's built on a base and it also has the holly leaves. So you're going to die cut from the green scrap two holly leaves. You can sponge them with uh, garden green ink if you would like that effect. It just adds a little more dimension to the leaves. Okay, then you go ahead and attach them to your stocking cuff. And then you're going to build a large doily. And you're going to do that using the uh, doily triple layer punch. And it is set on the third setting so that you will get the full doily. You're going to take your piece of 2 by 11 inch Whisper White and punch out five of the doilies. And you're going to you're going to set one aside, and then you're going to put the four together to make a bigger doily. You might play with this a little bit, dry fitting it before you glue it together with snail. Okay, so making a larger doily, so you'll snail those all together and they'll become one piece and this is the basis for your for your your lolly because you want a base under a lolly always and then you're going to take uh, three pieces of um, the sticky strip this is how they came to you in your kit and you're going to lay those across the center of your large doily and this will be what holds your lolly in place um, you're going to make your lolly with the three quarter inch by 11 inch piece of um, cherry cobbler. You're going to use your um, wonderful um, simply scored tool. It's a great scoring tool uh, to make one quarter inch scoring all the way across. And then um, you're going to run it. Uh, through uh, a trim edge, an edge punch. This one is the scallop trim border, and you'll run that all along, and you get a piece like this. And then you'll fold it with an accordion fold. Um, I, on this one, I ran a little bit of snail on the other side. That kind of helps you keep your fold together because it it will fight against you even now while you're folding it so if you put a little snail on the back and then start your folding together that will help a lot okay and then you'll take your lolly and fan it around this is not going to work because i don't have my sticky strip down but you'll get the idea okay but if you build this on top of the sticky strip, then the sticky strip will hold the lolly in place. Well, I didn't tell you to put a little bit on the end there to hold the ends together, but that would be the next next best idea there. Okay, and you're going to build that on top of the sticky strip on there. And it will hold together. I'm just not doing that right now. And then you'll take your last um, doily and a three-quarter inch circle punch and punch out the center of the doily. And then apply it to a three-quarter inch circle of um, cherry cobbler. And that will make this shape here. 
and then you'll add your little tiny pieces of sticky strip to the back of the tray cobbler piece and then set it on the in on the top of your doily so it'll have adhesive underneath and it'll have adhesive on the top uh, another uh, this one seems to be holding okay right now it has tried to undo itself even even with sticky strip so you may want to add a little bit more sticky strip to your center than than the two I provided or another idea might be before you put this top on to uh, put some crystal effects down at, around the bottom of the lolly and up here at the top and then set this in place and that that once it, the uh, crystal effects hardens that should hold it really securely and so then you're going to add your half pearl and your then you're going to add your your um, velvet ribbon and you'll want to put a little um, uh, sticky strip on the inside of your cuff and slide that in and press to hold it steady okay so there we go, and there is our stocking. I hope you enjoyed that.